Hey guys, Nick here. Welcome back to the channel. Today we have a doozy of a tutorial for you guys highly requested on this channel. And that is the sort of neon glow animation made famous by Blotter Media over on Instagram. So let's roll the intro so we can get into this video. All right guys, so like I said, this particular tutorial is based off of the neon glow animation as seen by Blotter Media on Instagram. So let's quickly take a look at what we're talking about. So if we jump on over to their Instagram page, you can see here that they do these dance videos and they have these neon glow animations that go along with it. And it is a really dope effect. Just the animation is just on point here and the way it integrates with the dancing is super, super good. Creating this effect in Fusion is actually really, really easy. At least the neon glow part anyway. The animating it, that is the hard part because animating is a skill in and of itself. Something that's hard to teach in a quick tutorial like this one, but hopefully we can get it across as easy as possible. We've just taken a look at what Blotter Media does. Let's have a quick look at what we're going to be creating today. So very similar. The only difference between the two is probably their animating is a little bit better than mine because I'm not an animator, but we're gonna teach you how to do this effect anyway. And yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into DaVinci Resolve. All right, guys. So now we're in DaVinci Resolve. Let's have a look at what we've got here. So we're not going to animate this entire thing. That'd take hours, but we'll do a little bit so you can get a gist of it and do your own project. So this is what we're going to be creating today. So some pretty cool things going on. We got a little bit going behind him uh, around here. Yeah, here we go. A little bit behind him. A couple of different colors. This stuff looks really cool with the dancing because obviously there's a lot of movement to play with. And you're going to be surprised about how easy this is to accomplish. Now, if you do want to get this particular video clip, head on over to pexels.com, type in dancer or dancing. There's heaps of free stock footage there that you can use. Not sponsored. I just use their stuff all the time. So what we're going to do is we're going to drag our dancer clip down into the timeline. I'm going to get rid of the audio because I don't really need it. I'm going to move across and what we're going to do is let's just start with this bit here. And I'm just going to, for this particular video, we're going to just take one second of video. And what we're going to do is right click, going to go new fusion clip and jump across to fusion. All right. So now we're in fusion. This is actually going to be super, super simple like I said. So we're going to, first off, we're going to rename our media just to Dancer so we can keep track of everything. Not that we need a whole lot for this particular effect. I'm going to bring this down. And for this entire effect, we really only just need the one viewer, no two viewers for this effect. Now to start with, we're going to drag a background node down onto our node area. From there, we're going to hit Shift Space and we're going to add a paint node, not the mask paint, which is what we used in the Ben TK transition, but the paint tool. And this is an interesting tool to use in Fusion. We'll go through it just in a little sec. I'm going to add that one. Then we're going to add a glow effect. Now you can use a few different versions of this one. I So if we type in glow, we've got glow, glow, and soft glow playing around with them. The soft glow tends to give the best effect straight out the gate. These ones require a little bit of fiddling. So we're going to hit soft glow and hit enter. And obviously nothing so far. And we're just going to drag the output of the soft glow to the output of the dancer to create our merge node. And we can't see anything. That's because our background is a solid color and currently it's black. What we want to do is turn the alpha from one to zero. What that's going to mean is that everything that is black is transparent. So we're going to do that now. So now everything that is black is transparent, which means as we paint on here by drawing a line, that becomes visible because it's not black. Now, as you can see here, we've got our glow and we can change the colors so we can go through and paint different colors. And we've got our glowing effect right out the back. Now, what's interesting about the paint tool is that it treats your sort of viewer here as a canvas, as if you were painting on a per frame basis. For example, we are currently at frame zero or the very first frame. So if I was to draw a line and then ignore that glitch, go forward a frame, you notice it's not there anymore. But if I go back a frame, it is. And then I can draw another line and go forward and another line and go forward and another line. You get the idea. And all of a sudden we have an animation. And that's what's super, super powerful about this tool is that it 
paints on a per frame basis and it also allows us to change color and we can do diff different colors on different frames. It literally just treats this as a canvas. You can draw whatever you want on a particular frame and it will disappear in the next frame. For example, so on this frame, if we wanted to draw a smiley face, so we could do, you know, I, I, and then let's, we could change the color and we can do our smiley face as aqua and go forward a frame, disappears. But the power here is we're able to create these cool animations that Blotter Media does with different neon colors and only use this one node to do it, which makes it really easy for us. So we're gonna undo all that and let's start animating. There's gonna be a lot of zooming in and out of the canvas here. So all we're gonna do is we're gonna go forward and let's just start. I just tend to find a little bit that inspires me. So, so I like this bit here. So he's got his arm up here and then he swings it out. So we're gonna use that to animate on. So what we're gonna do is when the arm is there, we're gonna zoom right in and you can see we're probably gonna to need to change the size of our brush because it's massive. Pretty simple, just click and drag over here until we get a smaller brush, something that we can do. And then you can just pick your color. For this one, we're going to go aqua and you literally just scribble on and you can be as precise or imprecise as you want. Once you've got what you are after, just hit the right arrow key to the next frame and the key to this is small animation. So don't make big movements every frame and that'll keep a nice smooth animation throughout this entire piece. I'm gonna go forward and you can see that I'm sort of interpreting where the hand is and just trying to keep the same sort of distance down his arm. I'm gonna go forward. See here, even when it's super, super blurry, we're just gonna color in and go forward and now what we're gonna do is his hands over here. So we're actually gonna have the neon light sort of spring off a little bit. So we're gonna leave it there, go to the next frame and we're going to have it kind of come out a little bit like that, go forward. And now we're going to have it out here. Now, because it's gonna start moving over here, I'm gonna keep my cursor there for the next frame and that's where we're gonna start the tail. Same thing for the next frame. So you can see how simple that is. And obviously if we want, we can add another color in. So say here, maybe add a red one to his arm. We can do that. So we just change the color to red, draw on his arm, go forward. Now, obviously I'm just being super quick here. Apologies for the glitching as well. Low powered PC, that's what, what can you do? Color in. And again, like I said at the start, this is all just time. The longer you spend on it, the more accurate you get, the better it's going to look. It is a real pain to do this sort of painting with a trackpad and a mouse. So if you have like a Wacom tablet or something like that, it'll be much, much easier. But look, we don't have one. We're just gonna nut it out. If we zoom out, now we have two different colors and you know, we've got our cool little animation there. We can go through, we could add more colors. And the way I sort of tackle it is I watch the video and I find a motion that draws me in. Like I said, with this arm, that was the first one that I liked. So I'd animate that one first and I'd go through the whole animation and then I'd go through and do the other arm like we have done there. And then, you know, if you spend another couple hours, you end up with what we ended up with here, which Like I said, the longer you spend on it, the better. But but remember guys, I said at the start, this was gonna be easier than you thought and that's as easy to, as it is. Three nodes, change the alpha on the background to zero so it's transparent, add a paint node and a soft glow, merge it together and just paint whatever you want per frame. No keyframe involved, it does it automatically and it's literally just whatever your brain can think up to create this effect. So there you guys have it. Told you it was gonna be a good one. You guys requested it, we dropped it. Hopefully you learned a lot in this video. Again, with the animating, practice makes perfect. So the more you attempt this type of effect, the better you're gonna get. And that's just the way life is. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you smash that thumbs up button and subscribe to the channel if you wanna see more videos like it. 
Leave a link in the comments if you have created your own effect like this, following this tutorial, whether it's on Instagram, YouTube, Vimeo, whatever, link it below, and I'll try my best to check it out. I do enjoy seeing what you guys create from following these tutorials, super, super dope. And yeah, that's pretty much it for this video, guys. See ya.